Hey, this is JC here at JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore. Damn it. They decided to zoom in. Uh, JC's Comics and More, your pop culture superstore, 6725 West Central Avenue. That is Toledo, Ohio, 43617, 419-531-6097. JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com. JC's Comics and More on Instagram. You can find the Facebook link in the description below. This is Tuesday, the 29th of August. We've got the new comics that we're doing here. I'm not sure when the battery, if this battery is going to go dead. If you watched the last video, my battery went dead right at the end there. So that's why I am just burning through these books right now. So we can just get through these comics. And again, I'd like to thank Patrick for letting me use his camera, but there is no pause on this. So once I'm done with this stack, I'm going to grab the next stack to put up there. Uh, try and get through this as quickly as possible before the battery goes dead. So sorry I'm going through these things so quickly. If you're not sure, you're going to have to pause at whatever one that you're interested in as far as what the covers are. Um, so that's just how it's going to be. You know, that's just, that's just the way it is. And here we go. A lot of stuff out this week. This is a fifth week, so there's some Marvel and DC stuff might be a little bit lighter than what you think. So let's just get through these here. We do have the new issue of previews that came in as well. Zodiac versus Hydra, that's a Marvel book. Brian Polito's Hell Witch. There's a cover coming up here. You're going to, uh, you've got young kids or whatever. You're going to have to uh, get them out. You might as well get them out of the room right now. And you're going to have to wait another, come back in uh, 10 seconds. Because that cover's coming up right after this one here. I'd like to thank Michael and James for coming up. From Georgia on Friday, and then they're here on Saturday. That uh, the, the money that they spent buying a bunch of those uh, comics I picked up recently. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that very much. So, people in town here, if you were looking at, I'll stop by and get some of those. Well, some of those might be gone. That's just how it is. We will be open on Labor Day on Monday from noon until, probably noon until 5, maybe noon until 6. Might want to call before that. But we are pretty much, with the exception of a few times in June, we are open on Sunday and Monday, seven days a week. Not every shop in town can say that. And that shop, you can put as many business cards of, of yours in my shop to be assholes as you want doesn't change the fact you're not open on Sunday and Monday yes another shop put their business cards in my shop and I think if you live in this town I think you know what shop it did a very shady shop you don't do that that shit If I catch somebody doing it in here, I'm going to jail.
And people that go to that shop, maybe you need to rethink where you're going to. Doing business with people like that. That is a one in 25. The uncovered is all the covers. It's not a new number one. It says number one, but it's not a comic. It's got Catwoman covers in there. So if you wanted some of those great art drum covers and didn't ever want to buy it, this is your chance. Nort, this is uh, pretty funny. You've got a great, there's a J. Scott Campbell cover there. I only have a very few. There is an Adam Hughes cover that I am surprised it was allowed to be published today. You want to see stuff that would never be uh, seen today? Go on YouTube. Put in Howard Stern Channel 9 shows. Watch some of those shows. Watch the one with Gagagin's Island and, and uh, Howie's home, uh, Homeless Squares. Watch that. If you don't laugh your ass off, you don't have a sense of humor. And we're going to have the Marvels coming up next. And so far, it looks like I still have a full, uh, full battery, which is good. Because, again, the battery, this, this camera takes four AA batteries. And it eats them, it eats, eats those things up. It eats them up. Misery. Misery. Very, very cool. I think I mentioned in my other one. It's real quick. Very cool they did that for John Romita. Very, very cool. I wish they would have did the same thing like this for Stan, for Steve Detko, for George Perez, for Neil Adams, for George Tusca, for Tom Palmer, uh, for so many of uh, those old creators. Don Heck, um, Len Wein, Dave Cockrum that passed away. That would have been a great tribute, a great honor to them. That's a 1 in, I think a 1 in 10 variant. That's a connecting variant. This here, Madam, uh, Madam Venom designed by Rod Reese. Really? So you took, uh, you took a black dress and you put a Venom face on it. Yeah, that was a lot of design work there, buddy. Man. I don't know how creative you could be. Look, it's like uh, Cerebus uh, Venom. Read this Hulk? What a damn good book this is. Oh my God. Probably one of the best comics Marvel's putting out these days. Here's an example of one of the worst comics. The Frank Miller covers they did. I don't know what Marvel paid him. They might want to uh, stop payment on that check. And I don't know how they got number 1,000 out of Marvel Age. It just, there's no way. No way that happens. And then here, they've, they've got a big deal. The Marvel Comics de debut of I'm a Villain. Uh, I'm a Villain uh, is writing this. Who who the hell is I'm a Villain? I've never heard of them. Uh, I don't think anyone is going to care. I've got some nobody writing this book. I'm a Villain. But that's really cool. That's a very cool cover. I'll, I'll count out covers where, where there's cool-ass covers. That's a cool-ass cover because it's uh, take off on... X-Men 101 with uh, the Phoenix. Stuff like that really uh, tugs at my uh, it, it's, uh, my the memory and the good memories of getting that comic. Just like this here being uh, uh, X-Men 130, the first appearance of Dazzler. It's so cool. And even though I could care less about the character, it's so cool. I'm going to keep a copy of each of those covers for myself because it's that cool. This issue is horribly late. There you got Bounty Hunters uh, number 37. A duel between father and son with the, uh, the Emperor watching them. Clone Wars. There's Django. Got Mandalorians. 
and we're getting towards the end here so cool and looks like my battery is still pretty strong and then finally we got ultimate invasion threes what do you guys think of ultimate invasion and then finally wolverine 36 i could swear this this issue is, is late but it's not look at this george perez cover so cool whoever owns that cover i am envious of you or owns that artwork and then finally we have that this issue with uh sort of wolverine as ghost rider if you do like these videos please uh subscribe to the channel hit the bell for notifications like comment and share and i like to uh, throw out real big uh, uh birthday greetings to um randy green uh his birthday was on friday the 25th the same as rob halford and uh and uh let's see we've got several other people uh God, I'm, I'm trying to think of who else. Uh, Sean Connery's on his birthday is on that day too. Gene Simmons, but uh, Randy Green was in here so a couple of years ago, like three, four years ago, with his band, uh, uh, um, and uh, worked at a, a Philly, Philadelphia comic shop called uh, Amalgam Comics and Com uh, Coffee and Co Comics and Coffee. Unfortunately, they're no longer there. Uh, but uh, hope you had a good birthday. Hope you had a good fiftieth, man. Other than that, everybody have a great, safe Labor Day. Thanks for watching.